A tentative agreement has been made between the Ontario government and the province's teachers, but the details of the deal are still under wraps. And as Rebecca Thompson reports, that has critics wondering just what the Liberals are handing over to keep the unions happy. Well, the Ontario Ministry of Education budget has soared higher than it ever has before. In fact, it's increased year over year. Now, this could this be the solution for paying for a new agreement with the Ontario Public Secondary School high school teachers? Well, according to Premier Kathleen Wynne, it could just be a matter of moving money around. The funding could be moving around to uh, to address some of the implementation issues, but you know that's uh, that's as one would expect. But there there's no new money, there's no additional money in that envelope. Now the months of teacher union labor disputes seem to have worn the Liberals down because back on the table are potential benefits like more sick days and more retirement gratuities. This is a departure from former. Premier Dalton McGuinty, who took a verbal beating from teachers' unions over imposing contracts. McGuinty believed that he got teachers to a position of some of the best paid public teachers in North America. Now, the new potential agreement has the Ontario opposition, uh, progressive conservatives, furious given the financial situation of the province. It looks like, you know, Kathleen Wynne's first priority as Premier uh, was to, uh, to buy the support of the teacher unions. Uh, so you've got the teacher unions out there looking to get the best deal possible for the teachers, that's what they do. You have a Liberal and NDP party looking to cater support uh, from the teacher union bosses. I mean, who's looking out for the taxpayer? This is going to cost us more money. My advice to uh, Premier Wynne, tell us today exactly how much more this is going to cost the taxpayers, because quite frankly, the money's run out. Now, while none of the details of the agreement have been made public, these kinds of concessions are a departure from what the Liberals have said in the past, that there's no new money on the table. But it could put an arrow in Premier Wynne's quiver uh, to have this agreement ratified and to be able to say that it's all within the Ministry of Education's current uh, budget. Back to you. All right, Rebecca Thompson reporting.